In this video lesson, I will be showing you how to insert voiceover audio files into PowerPoint. You will be learning how to add these audio files and make them match up with your animation. This lesson will cover manual timing of slides and how you can preview the audio. I will also show you how to hide the audio icon and take your voiceover file and spread that across multiple slides in PowerPoint. This lesson is about voiceovers in PowerPoint. So the first thing that we need to do is import our audio file and in this case it's a voiceover file. I received this file from Jim from voicetalent.com. I sent this to Jim last week and within 24 hours I received this file back so voicetalent.com delivered with flying colors. So let's go up and get our voice file. You do that by going to insert at the top of the page and under insert you will have different options. You want to go to where it says audio. So over at the right there is an icon that says audio. So if you click on that icon and go to audio from a file we can import our audio file. And just to give you an example of the amount of files that PowerPoint imports there's actually quite a quite a bit of files that it can import. So if you click the um, down box here on on the right you will see that it imports um, an AIFF file which is kind of an old file a MIDI file um, if you use any of those MP3 MP4 a WAV file even a Windows Media Audio and of course a QuickTime audio file now in this case we want to click audio files now I can click MP3 but I just want to click the audio files that way any type of audio file that's on the computer will be visible. So if I scroll down to the bottom of the page I can click my file and hit insert. You will see that that audio file was inserted into the first page of PowerPoint. So at this point I can actually hit the play button and I can listen to my audio file to see how that sounds. Using voiceovers in PowerPoint. Lesson by Gary Petrie. Adding voiceover to a slide. Okay, that sounds pretty good. And at this point, we want to be able to take this audio file and play it across all the multiple slides that are on here and do timing so that way this voiceover is timed to each individual slide. The first thing that we want to do is that we want to be able to click the icon down here for the audio. By doing that, it will give me a few more tabs at the top of the page. So if I click on that icon that looks like a little speaker, you will see that I get two more tabs at the top of the page for audio tools. One is format and one is playback. We want to click on the playback tab. Now under the playback tab, we want to go over to start and it, right now it just says on click. We want to hit the down arrow and choose play across slides. So what that does is it plays your audio file across all your slides in your presentation or at least until the audio file stops. Now you can loop the audio file if you want. Let's say you have background music and you want to have that background music played during your entire presentation you can loop that background music to start as soon as it stops. So at this point we are ready to start our timing of the presentation. Now in order to do the rehearse timings we want to go to the slideshow tab and right under that you'll see rehearse timings. Now if we click on that Now it's time for me to rehearse the timings and I do that by hitting the enter key. Adding voiceovers across slides. Widget 1 slide has voiceover playing in the background. You will see that widget 2 slide will have the same Now I can read the text and hear the audio. And as that audio is playing, I advance the slide by hitting the enter key and that will allow me to get exact timing for these visuals. 
Now at the end of this timing, PowerPoint comes up with a box that says the total time for the slideshow was 39 seconds. Do you want to keep the new slide timings to use when you view the slideshow? And I can click yes or no. If I click no, I just redo my timing. And in this case, I'll click yes. And that's how you rehearse your timings for a slideshow. If you're going to be adding audio to it or voiceover track or something like that. Now, if we want to play that back to see how we did, we can go up to this icon in the top left hand corner under slideshow and it says play from beginning. We click on that and we can play the slideshow from the beginning. Using voiceovers in PowerPoint. Lesson by Gary Petrie. Adding voiceover to a slide. Adding voiceovers across slides. Widget 1 slide has voiceover playing in the background. You will see that Widget 2 slide will have the same voiceover playing without a break in the actual audio. This works for Widget 3 slide and so on. You can add audio across your entire presentation from start to finish. And there we go. Now since we reviewed our show, the timing has a good order to it. So the next thing that we want to do is we want to hide the little icon that appears on that first slide. So if we double click that first slide, you will see a little icon on the screen. Now if we don't hide that icon, that icon will show up during playback of the slideshow. So we want to click this little icon and we want to go up to playback which is one of the tabs up here at the top of the screen under audio tools so we click the playback and you will see an area that says hide during show it actually says hide the audio clip icon during the slideshow we want to make sure that box is clicked upon so that way when you play this slideshow back this icon that you see in the center of the screen no longer shows up during the slideshow Now the last thing I'd like to go over is when you import a audio file, whether that be a music track or a voiceover file, you want to make sure that uh, you either know that you're going to embed that or you're going to link that audio file. Now this is more of a concern if you have video playing within your presentation because audio files tend to be a lot smaller so embedding an audio file isn't all that bad but it does take up space if you have an audio file that's very lengthy. So if you embed that audio file, it's only going to enlarge the size of your PowerPoint presentation, which means it's going to be longer to open, and it's going to be very difficult for you to take that PowerPoint presentation and give it to somebody else. Now what I would suggest for large audio files and video files is for you to link those files to your PowerPoint presentation. Now you do that by going up to insert and when you insert your video file or audio file over on the right, let's do audio again. So if you click on that icon and say audio file from a file, you come up with this page. So let's let's go down to our file again that's that audio file that we had used. You'll see that there's a section here at the bottom called insert. If you hit that down arrow, you'll see that it says link to file. Now insert means that that's going to insert that audio file within your presentation. Link to file means that it's going to add a link and that audio file isn't going to be actually part of the presentation. It's just going to be linked to the presentation. Again, that works best if that's a very large audio file. Now, what I would suggest, if you do link a video file or an audio file to your presentation, make sure that audio or video file is part of your directory. You're going to have to make sure that when you give that to somebody or you pass that presentation on to another computer, you're going to have to make sure any files that are linked to it are included within that directory. And that's it. I hope you enjoyed this lesson today, adding voiceovers to a PowerPoint presentation. And we'll talk to you next lesson.